Hi, this is Lauren Parker for Expert Village. And as a final note um, on this etchant, if you do stop using this etchant, I'd like to urge you to please dispose of it in an environmentally responsible way. First thing to do, this is not a very strong solution of acid. We've diluted it with a lot of um, hydrogen peroxide and a lot of uh, water. But um, the way to get rid of the acid is the old baking soda and vinegar trick. If I were to add baking soda into this, it would start foaming. So you slowly add baking soda and kind of mix it in and it foams. And then once it's done foaming, that means that you've neutralized the acid. There's no longer any acid in there to react. At that point, you can dispose of it. However, there are now copper salts. All the copper that came off of here is now in the solution. And according to the EPA and um, environmental agencies and scientists everywhere, having large concentrations of copper in one place is not a great idea. So uh, it's not suitable to go to the landfill. What you need to do is just let the sort of sludge that you get uh, from adding the baking soda sit out in the sun for a day or two and it kind of dries into crystals. You can put it into a bag or keep it in the Tupperware container. Then you can take it to uh, a hazardous waste site, um, the same place that you'd take cell phone batteries or computer circuit boards or old computers to. Tell them that you have copper salts or copper, and they'll know exactly what to do with it. That material will be taken to a reclamation center, and they'll recycle it.